Now, 41 Action News Update. All right, welcome everyone. I'm Curtis Jay. We have potential of severe weather later this afternoon, or I should say early evening. It's going to be in the Johnson County area, and Brett Anthony is standing by with a look at that. Brett. Oh, hey, Curtis. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, it could be, uh, in fact, all over Kansas City. We'll have to keep an eye on it, but it's not in here for another nine or ten hours from now till it gets to Kansas City. What we find out Side at this current time, just a few scattered showers from Leavenworth to Lawson. These aren't severe or anything like that. It's very light rain, in fact. And in many places, it hasn't even amounted to a measurable amount of rainfall. Just a couple traces over toward Lawrence. The story for the immediate time being is the wind. There's quite a bit of it. 57 degrees with a gusty east-southeast wind at 31 miles an hour. Those dew points right now in the middle 40s. If they stay low today, that'll limit the severe weather capability in Kansas City. But you can already see some stronger storms starting to fire up over West West Central, North Central Kansas, and we're watching a few areas down here that'll kind of percolate throughout the day. And then as the main storm system moves toward us, we are right on the edge of a moderate risk of severe weather. And that means there could be, you know, a tornado out here in central Kansas that could track toward Kansas City this evening. So we'd have to watch that. Otherwise, in that slight risk area, your main threats would be damaging winds or some large hail. 65 today with a 50% chance of rain by 5 p.m. So the thunderstorms are going to be scattered, but any scattered thunderstorm could be quite strong. 72 tomorrow. Those thunderstorms are out of here quickly. In fact, they could be gone from Kansas City by 9 p.m. tonight. Sunday, there's a chance for rain and a high around 60. And Monday, also a chance of rain high around 70. Curtis?